What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're gonna be taking a look at editing again, specifically editing with teal and orange look. Now this is a very popular look and people have asked me a lot how I edit my Instagram photos with this look so I decided to make a video for you guys teaching you how to make it. Now we're gonna go through all the process of editing the photo and at the end of this video, I'm gonna link for you guys a download for the specific preset that we're gonna be creating together. So let's jump right into this video. All right guys, so jumping right into Lightroom, this is the photo that I selected for us to edit together. So you know that this preset that we're gonna create is gonna be good for landscapes as well as portraits. Let's go over here to the develop module. First thing that we are taking a look at here is the exposure of the picture. Now you see that she, our model here, is a little bit underexposed. I did that on purpose because I wanted to preserve some of the color of the sky. I didn't want to lose it because that's the main one of the main focuses of this uh, teal and orange look is having uh, blues that you can turn into teal. So that's why I kind of uh, left the, the blue skies like this. Uh, so first things first, I want to properly expose this image so that it's uh, a little bit better for me. Um, so I'm just going to up the exposure just a little bit. I think that right around there is fine. I'm going to bring down the highlights almost all the way down maybe at around uh, yeah I'll bring them all the way down it doesn't affect too much of the highlights on her skin and it is actually bringing down the blue skies like I want it the shadows I'm gonna boost up until I get it to a comfortable level I think that mm, around right there at 50 is where I want them to be as far as the whites and blacks right now I'm not gonna touch uh, moving down so other things I want to correct in this image. First things first, let's level out this image a little bit. Let's make sure everything is straight and nice. I think it's good. I think composition wise, she's in the middle of the photo where I want her to be. So that's good there. Keeping up with this. Sharpening, I think it's pretty good if you see here. It doesn't need too much more sharpening, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Profile corrections, I'm going to leave the mask is as well. So that's basically it for exposing the image. Now we're going to get into the interesting part of creating this uh, filter and creating this uh, teal and orange look. So first things that we want to do is go to the blues and actually make those blues teal because that is the color, the, one of the main colors of the image. So we're gonna bring that to about 35. I think it looks good. If you bring it all the way down, it looks too green, too bad. So I kinda wanna keep it at around 35. I think it's good. I wanna bring the luminance down so that it's a little bit more punchy and a little bit, with a little bit more character in, the, in those blues. Saturation I'm gonna leave just as is. Um, another thing I wanna do here is I wanna jump into the yellows bring those yellows into the oranges completely so that there's no yellow, just orange and teal and some of the green from the, from the leaves here. Um, the hue of the orange, I want to bring it down a little bit more toward, towards the reds. I think that minus 10 should be good. I don't want to touch the reds because usually the reds go into the skin too much and if you see here, see how it's affecting her skin and making her look different. So I don't want to really touch those. I want to leave those reds at zero. So pretty much we're, you know, getting into the business of the teal and orange here. Um, another thing that I want to do is uh, this trick called split toning. I'm going to go here to the shadows. I'm going to add some yellows or oranges to the shadows. Now, initially, this is a little bit too much for my taste. So I'm going to bring it down until I feel comfortable with it so that it actually looks more to my liking. Now, um, I think that around there, 10% looks pretty good. What we've done here is that we've added, with this uh, little thing right here, we've added some oranges to the shadows, which means they all this darker part to the image that used to be, uh, that used to have basically no color, now have an orange cast to them, which actually complements the feel that we're getting from the jeans and a little bit of the sky here. So. We're almost, almost done. Um, I don't want to add any grain or noise to this image. I just want to leave it as clean as possible, but you can add it um, if you so desire to your edits. As 
far as exposure, I think it looks pretty good. I don't want to touch the vibrance or anything like that. If we play a little bit with the white balance, we kind of get a more even image. I'm going to bring the white balance just a little bit down so that it evens out. I want to push the pinks just ever so slightly, I think. I think they look good there because since she's surrounded by all this greenery and uh, light is very reflective, all that green usually uh, casts on people's skins. So you gotta be a little bit mindful of that when you're shooting in, in surrounding green environments such as this one. Um, so we're pretty much almost done. If you wanna add a little bit extra flair a little bit extra pizzazz your images. You may want to go over here to graduated filter, drop one from this corner over here, make sure this is completely off. And you may want to add some some color there like so. So that it kind of looks sun sun ray just going down from this side. You may want to up the exposure by 30. Bring that down a little bit. And now it kind of looks like there's a, a sunspot there that's coming into the image. Um, and that adds a little bit more interest. So you see this is before and then this is the after. I think it's uh, looking a little bit too orange on her skin for my case. So we're going to go ahead and fix that right now. And the way that we can fix that is that we can take the white balance just a little bit more down. Just tone it down a little bit more and actually add a little bit more detail into those shadows like so. Contrast wise, we'll add just a tiny, tiny little bit so that it's a little bit more punchy. And let's see what else we can do here. Actually, I think this is looking a little bit too much, so we're going to bring it down to an 8 so that it levels out. And that saturation right there. And I think it looks pretty good. I think that we've accomplished uh, what we set out to do with this edit, which is a teal and orange look. Now this look is pretty good for a lot of things. You can apply this to landscapes or to your own photographs uh, of yourself or portrait that you're taking or you know whatever it is that you want to do if you want to keep this uh, clean coloring like you see in this image right here. Now, I think the next step to do for us is export this and uh, save it down to our desktop and I think we can pretty much done. So just to show you what we've created here um, with this look, we went from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. It incorporates a teal and orange look, all the colors are balanced, all the uh, exposures are great and um, you know I think it looks way better uh, with this teal and orange look than it did you know straight out of the camera. And that is it guys, that is the teal and orange look. That is how I like to, for now, edit my Instagram photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you wanna leave any questions or any comments uh, regarding what type of content you wanna see in future videos, do so as well in the comments below. Go ahead and click through that link, download the preset, use it, and if you end up using it, just make sure to tag me so that I know that you're using it and I can check out your work. I hope you enjoyed that edit and I'll see you guys on the next video.